Hey, what's up everyone? It's Steph from Steph Lee Films. If you have been working from home due to the COVID-19 situation, or even working from the office, you'll be very familiar with online meeting platforms like Zoom. In one of the episodes previously, I talked about how to use the 810 Mini Pro for your Zoom meetings. So in today's video, I will talk about the top 20 Zoom tips and tricks you can learn to make your Zoom meetings experience more enjoyable. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Tip number one, change your background. Most of the time, you won't want your colleagues to see your messy background. Or maybe you don't have a nice background as a backdrop. Don't worry. You can change your Zoom background to a being in outer space or a custom photo or even better. Send your transmission from the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon. If you're a Star Wars fan, you will know what I'm trying to say. Virtually transport yourself to the beach, outer space or anywhere else you can imagine by customizing your background while on your Zoom meetings or calls. Everyone's doing it these days. How to do this? Click on the arrow up key beside the start video icon and select choose virtual background. Here you can choose the given backgrounds or upload your personal favorites by clicking on the plus sign here. For Star Wars fans out there, you can download the official backgrounds for free here. Tip number two, mute your audio and turn off your camera by default. So how many times have you been scrambling for that mute audio and off camera buttons as soon as you enter a Zoom meeting? Because most of the time, you click on the link and you go directly into a Zoom meeting, right? So avoid letting your colleagues or co-workers see your just woke up look or hear your neighbor screaming at her kid by turning those options off by default. How to do this? Click on the arrow up button beside the mute unmute button and click audio settings. Check the box here, mute microphone when joining a meeting. Then go to your video settings and check the box here, turn off my video when joining a meeting. Tip number three, mute and unmute with the space bar. All right, hands up, how many of you are always caught by surprise when the speaker calls your name out to talk and then you scramble to look for the microphone unmute button because your meetings is already on mute mode, right? Do you know you can quickly press and hold the space bar to quickly unmute your mic? Now you know. Tip number four, turn on the beauty filter. Okay, so working from home doesn't really mean you can look like you're at home, right? That also means dressing up appropriately while working at your home desk and be ready to get into online meetings or Zoom calls like it's a regular work day. What if you still don't think you are looking your best for that meeting? Zoom's Touch Up My Appearance feature may be for you. The filter aims to smooth over your appearance, giving you a well-touched up look. So if you've ever used like beauty mode settings on your phone's selfie cameras, you know what you're getting with this option from Zoom. How to do this? To turn it on, click the up arrow next to start video. Click video settings, and under my video, check the box for touch up my appearance. Tip number five, set up a waiting room for added privacy. Have you ever heard of the term Zoom bombing? What Zoom bombing means is when uninvited guests crash your Zoom meeting and disrupt it. This happens when they have the link to your Zoom meeting and they can just come in uninvited. So how do you prevent this? You can enable the waiting room feature so you can see who's attempting to join the meeting before allowing them access into your Zoom room or meeting room. So how to do this? To do so, click on the security icon under Enable Waiting Room and then you can click on it to enable it. Tip number six, create breakout rooms for smaller group discussions. So what happens if you have a big Zoom meeting for 50 people? So you can split this Zoom meeting up into 50 separate smaller sessions with breakout rooms. The meeting host can host to split meeting participants into separate sessions automatically or manually. Or you can let participants select and enter any breakout session they like. The host can switch between sessions at any point. To start a breakout room as the host, you can click on breakout rooms icon on your panel here. 
I understand that some of you don't have the icon displayed here because the option is disabled in your account settings. So to enable this, go to the web portal on Zoom by going to zoom.us and sign in to your account. Once you have signed in, click on the settings on the left column panel here and you will see the option for breakout room. Enable it and check on allow host to assign participants to breakout rooms when scheduling. Then save. Restart your Zoom and you should be able to see the breakout rooms option. Tip number seven, share your screen. Do you know you can share your screen in a Zoom meeting with other participants by clicking the share screen icon on the toolbar at the bottom of the meeting screen. You can have the option to share your entire desktop or just one of the windows that you have open. Click the red stop share button at the top of the screen to go back to being a normal participant in the meeting and to end your screen sharing. Tip number eight, react with emoji icons on screen. So now even if you are muted in a meeting, you can still let the host know your thoughts with emoji reactions. Send a thumbs up or a clapping emoji to communicate without interrupting the meeting. To react during a meeting, click the reactions tab at the bottom of the meeting screen and choose the one you want. Emoji will disappear after 5 seconds. If the meeting organizer enables the non-verbal feedback feature, participants can place an icon such as a raised hand next to their name to communicate. Every participant will be able to see each other's feedback. Tip number 9. Learn handy keyboard shortcuts. For those who don't like clicking around their screen to figure out, Zoom has a ton of helpful keyboard shortcuts to help you navigate the app on your desktop without using your mouse. So how do you do this? In your settings under keyboard shortcuts, you can find the description you want to change, then click on the shortcut to edit it. Tip number 10. Turn on gallery view. So what's gallery view? Gallery view lets you see everyone in the meeting at once instead of just the person speaking. To turn that on, click the tab that says Gallery View in the top right corner. If the meeting has 49 or fewer attendees, you will be able to see all of their screens displayed on one page. If there are more people in the meeting, you will have the option to move between multiple pages. Change it back by clicking Speaker View in that same top right corner. Tip number 11, hide non-video participants. In a large meeting, many times you have participants who choose not to on their video. So your screen can get cluttered with participants which can be distracting especially when there's a mixture of video and non-video participants. So to hide these non-video participants, click on the arrow up icon beside start stop video and check on the box hide non-video participants. Now you will be able to see and talk to everyone and not just to a white screen and a name. Tip number 12, record the meeting to your computer. So both free and paid Zoom subscribers can record their meetings to the laptop or computer using the desktop app. This is pretty good for important meetings where you want to rewatch the meetings to see what CEO talked about during the meeting or if you missed out any important notes and you want to rewatch, or if you need to take down meetings minutes again, those recorded files can be uploaded to a file storage device such as Google Drive or Dropbox or to a streaming service such as YouTube or Vimeo. Under your settings, click on record and you can see the options for this. You can choose your folder to store your recordings. The record button is available at the bottom panel when you are hosting a Zoom meeting. Tip number 13, record a meeting to the cloud. In the earlier tip number 12, I talked about recording locally to your computer. So if you have one of Zoom's paid plans, you can take a recording that will save directly to the cloud, which means that you don't have to save it locally to your computer. Tap the record button on the bottom toolbar and you have the option to make it local or in the cloud. You can do this on either your desktop or mobile. Tip number 14, host a group meeting longer than 40 minutes. Okay, this isn't actually a tip, but more like information. On Zoom's free basic accounts, group meetings can only last up to 40 minutes, although one-on-one -on -one meetings are unlimited in time. 
To get unlimited meeting time for group meetings, upgrade to a paid account which starts from about $150 a year for a license. Tip number 15. Mute everyone at once. So as a host, sometimes people get distracted and start talking during your meetings, which is kind of distracting. So the shortcut key to mute everyone at once is command Control m for Mac and Alternate M for PC. Tip number 16. Display participants' names. You might be wondering, why would we need this function, right? Sometimes in sales meetings, you might be talking to someone out of your organization or someone you are meeting for the first time. It will be good to have their names on display so you can address them directly when the need arises. So how do you do this? Click on the arrow up icon beside the start stop video button to bring up video settings. Check on always display participant names on their videos. Tip number 17, enabling noise removal. How many of you working from home often have family members like babies crying or dogs barking or children calling out for you in the middle of your Zoom calls? which makes it kind of distracting and unprofessional, right? So Zoom is very well known for their background noise cancellation or removal. And to enable this, go to your audio settings and click on Advanced. Under Audio Processing, you have the option to strengthen the noise removal function by changing the intensity of the noise cancellation. Tip number 18. Auto copy invite URL when starting a meeting. You can invite people to your meetings by the usual manner, right? Which is to copy the invite after you schedule it or start it. But enabling this function saves you some time, probably a few seconds, by automatically copying the URL upon starting the meeting, which is pretty awesome actually. Go to your general settings and click on copy invite link when starting a meeting. Tip number 19. Make sure to respond to unread messages. Okay, how many times have participants chatting in the chat room to ask questions, especially when they are muted and can't talk? So to make sure that you have notifications on their messages and don't miss out on any of them, go to settings and under chat, click on the boxes regarding unread messages. In this way, you will not miss out any new messages from your participants, some of which may be important for you to reply. Okay, the last tip, tip number 20 using a better camera for your Zoom meetings. If you have a webcam connected to your computer or better still, a professional camera connected to your computer, you can actually enable them or use them in your Zoom meetings to let you have a better video visual to show your Zoom participants. So how do you do that? Go to your video settings and under camera, if your webcam or external camera is connected properly and working, you will be able to select it here under the drop down. This will enable you to have a better image than the built in ones in your laptop or computer, which is usually of a lower resolution or poorer quality. So, there you have it Top 20 Zoom tips and tricks to make your Zoom meetings more enjoyable and pleasant. I think by now many of you should be Zoom experts, but I hope that you have learned at least one or two new tips in this video so you can use them in your future Zoom meetings. Before I end this video, I would like to say it really means a lot to me if you found any of the information I shared today useful and if you can give this video a like. So it encourages me to continue making such videos for you. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them below so I can work on my future video content to bring you something that you like. If you want to learn more about photography and videography or learn about tips and tricks that I will share with you like this episode, don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell. And of course, if you have the time, check out two of my other videos here. And as always, if you have any questions, please let me know.